After living in England for three years, we have finally made it to one of the top destinations. This is a few things to do in the Cotswolds. But before we get too far into that quick introduction, I'm Elaytra Beck. And I'm Jordan Beck. And this is Around the World and Beck. We post new videos every week. Sometimes it's travel vlogs and sometimes it's what it's like to be Americans living in the UK. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any content from us. Now the Cotswolds is a region of England that spans about five English counties. And if you look on Google Maps, it actually labels the Cotswolds as a A, O, and B. This is uh, kind of confusing when you first look at it, but it stands for Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. All in all, it covers about 800 square miles, and we just learned by a fancy Google that Coswolds is broken up into meaning cots, meaning sheep enclosure, and wold, meaning hill. So it quite literally means sheep enclosures on the hill. So we have yet to see too many sheep, but we have seen plenty of hills. <laughs> So we are just going to be exploring around and trying to stop at different destinations. However, it is not ideal weather for this, so... Highly recommend coming back on a day where not so cloudy and not so windy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if any of our sound is gonna pick up on the mic. So if the sound is bad, we apologize. We might just have to record our voices okay. later and just show you the beautiful sights while we're out here. We're gonna be starting our journey by climbing up a hill to visit Broadway Tower. So, into the cold we go. There's not too much to do regarding the tower itself. You can go up it and look at views from the top. There's a gift shop on the bottom floor and there's a cafe just down the hill. However, the area around it is absolutely beautiful and filled with wonderful walking paths that you can go and see the countryside. After we left the tower, we didn't have too much of a plan as to what we were gonna do. So we just decided we were gonna head south, which is how we ended up at our next destination. One of the places that you must check out is Stowe on the Wall. It's a picturesque town with cute little shops, but most importantly, there's one part of the town that you might miss, and that's St. Edward's Church. It's got some parts of it that date back to the 11th century with behind it, having an entrance that has two yew trees that create a fairy tale like entrance. It's said that the doors there might have inspired the doors of Durin and Lord of the Rings. The town itself had so much that you could go see and do. There was tons of shops that lined the street and so much liveliness going around. However, the thing that really drew our eye was this church. We just couldn't seem to leave. The inside, the outside, and especially the yew trees seemed so special to us that we just, we had to stay and record. <laughs> Our last stop in this town is to grab lunch at England's oldest inn, which opened in 947 AD. Today, it still acts as an inn. It also is a pub and restaurant, and the food here, amazing. Elytra ended up having a roast chicken with some couscous, and I had a British Wagyu burger. The restaurant at this inn was amazing. The atmosphere was great and then everybody was really friendly and people could bring their dogs. There was actually a little spot where they gave dog treats at the bar. If this is a place that you wanna visit, I highly recommend making reservations. As we were leaving, a lot of people were trying to get in and being turned away as the place was completely full. Afterwards, we spent some time looking at the shops and then we decided to hit the road and go visit our most anticipated location. stop in the Cotswolds is Burton on the Water. This is the Venice 
of the Cotswolds because of the river that runs through the town where you'll find a majority of shops and some really cool architecture. But there's some bridges that go over the river here that just tie it together as the prettiest village of the Cotswolds. We really wish that we had the opportunity to stay much longer here because it was so beautiful. But the longer the day got, the more the weather conditions kind of turned against us. It quickly became apparent that we were losing light. It was getting much windier and even starting to rain a bit. So we had to rush over to our next destination, which ended up being one of our last. the last stops that we're going to be making on our little tour is to Burford. It is often considered to be the gateway of the Cotswolds. Along the street you'll see lots of houses that date back to even the 16th century and just around the corner is the oldest pharmacy in England, Reevely's, dating back to 1734 and I'm super excited to check it out. While well, the pharmacy has been updated to modern medicine, the pharmacy was still really cool to check out. And just a reminder that England has a lot of fascinating history scattered all around the country. The same could be said for a lot of the buildings and the architecture scattered throughout this town. But like the previous stop, we didn't want to stay too long and decided to make our way to the last destination. But surprisingly, we were caught off guard by another town that was just as beautiful as the others and decided to make a quick stop and take some photos and just read up on the amazing history of the area and how they have a working trout farm. We're here at the capital of the Cotswolds and our last stop, Cirencester. This is a town that was founded in 1 AD. Uh, it's the second largest of the Roman Britain times. Uh, London was the only city that was bigger than it. Now it's turned into this thriving city with lots of shops where apparently gardeners occasionally will turn up Roman pottery and it's just put into the museum here. So there's a lot of history here and right now it's kind of hard to tell with all the thriving shops. Well, that leaves us back where we started, in the car. Well, this was a very short trip. Turns out the Cotswolds is a lot bigger than we originally planned on or even thought. We ended up missing a lot, but hopefully we hit some of the key points of this beautiful area, this area of outstanding natural beauty. <laughs> um, we'd love to come back later when everything's full bloom and just check it out again. Um, so please let us know where you think is a must to visit in the Cotswolds. Yeah, this place is so beautiful. I cannot recommend getting in a car and just driving down the countryside and taking it all in. There was even several places that were not noted on the map as being key places that we were able to stop at. That was, oh my gosh, breathtaking, so. With that, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you so much for catching this quick little video of our day trip to Coswells. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, follow us on socials, all those links in the description. We'll see you next time. Bye.